What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I just got back from Birmingham Wills, um, the Learn to Drift event. Um, I remembered that I forgot to do an intro and an outro, so I'm gonna do one now. Um, so, today was really good. Um, to cut a very long story short, um, which I think is a relatively interesting story, um, I've had numerous kind of practice drift cars that in my opinion have always gone too far. I've had a 540 V8, which um, at the time just felt like a bit much. Um, I've had a couple of E36s. One was a, a very nice um, T-plate run-out model, um, individual spec. It used to be owned by a good friend of mine who unfortunately passed away. So um, it was always for me too nice to drift. And then when he passed, I just couldn't really drift anymore because the last thing I wanted to do was put it into a wall. Um, even before then, that, I was other protective of it because it was a nice looking car. So I never, never really stuck it to anything. Um, next one was an E36, which I bought to replace that one. Um, I bought it relatively cheap. So I was like, well, it cost, didn't cost me that much. So I don't mind crashing it. But then as usual, I went too far. Um, put a cage in it, put decent seats in it, put decent wheels on it, and it just went on. And I got it to a point, put a wide arch kit on it and a nice spoiler, etc., etc. Um, it was a M M50 325, um, non Vanos, um, I think Schwartz Black, if that's the right pronunciation. So it was a nice one. Um, and same thing, got it to a point where I was happy with it and then realised, yeah, didn't really want to smash it up. So I bought a car to replace the car I didn't want to smash up and made it nice enough that I didn't want to smash up, which is kind of what I do. If I'm being brutally honest, um, <laughs> and I did it for a third time, I bought another car, um, which was an E46 Compact, which is what I use now as my practice car. And I kind of did the same thing. I, I didn't go as far, admittedly. I just literally put some cheap bolt-on arch flares, put a decent set of wheels on it, and that was it. Do you know what I mean? But it, I kind of, I kind of like it. I, I like the way it looks and stuff. Um, so I kind of told myself I was using it and I was pushing it, but I don't think I really was. I think I was still kind of holding back because it, it did look quite nice, in my opinion. A lot of people don't like compacts. Anyway, um, the last time I went to Birmingham Wheels, which was a skid risk day, um, a strange thing happened. I was backing it off the trailer and a guy came up to me and said, um, that's, that's, that's really nice, it's nice and clean. And normally you'd think... Um, You'd appreciate a comment someone come over to you saying your car's nice <laughs> and i actually took a fence by it um it kind of told me it re it kind of reconfirmed that i'm just not pushing it hard enough because it's clean and yeah there's lots of clean drift cars about but that's probably after they've just been repainted after they've been smashed up um so that weirdly that stuck in my mind strange enough it was just it was just I was like you're still not you're still you're still holding back you're still not pushing it so this event, um, I was like, do you know what? Ugh, I've had I've had enough now. It's kind of all or nothing. Um, don't get me wrong; I don't want to smash it up, um, but I want to be able to push it. And I did more kind of twinning today, and more close twinning today. Um, literally, door on door. Um, so, and it was so much more fun. <laughs> I feel like I've missed out on many years of good drifting. Um, because the, the close stuff, the kind of door and door action is so much more exciting, so much more focused, so much, because it's not, it's not just a case of, I guess, your own skill, it's a case of judging the person in front of you. And it's, it's kind of just going for it, knowing that the person in front of you, if you initiate, you're gonna initiate on their door, and if you mess up, you're gonna bend their car and yours. If they mess up, you're gonna bend your car and there. But if you don't mess up, it's all good. So, um, that's kind of the attitude I had in um, had going into today's event. So um, I had a blast. I had a blast, and um, the car did get some damage. I was um, trying to get as close to the wall at wheels as I could do, and um, I got close enough to um, to do a little bit of damage on the rear. Not a great deal of damage, but it's more than the car's ever seen since I've had it. Anyway, so um, I've rambled on for long enough. I'll show you. If this is just a quick edit of um, just grabbing the oval and try and get close to the wall. But, hope you enjoy it.
Right, that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Um, and I guess to uh, to close out this video, I guess a bit of advice to all you new drifters out there. Um, I guess don't be too precious about your car. Like I'm a car guy myself. I like I like things to drive well and I like things to look nice. So I understand people wanting to make their cars look as nice as possible. Um, but um, you can limit your enjoyment somewhat and limit your ability to push yourself as a driver if you're too over focused on the way it looks and not smashing it up so by all means build your car to the spec you want but don't forget to have fun anyway that's it for me today guys thanks a lot see you later